Oh, no, that'd help, wouldn't it? Now it is. Right, let's have a look. Is it on? Okay. Hi folks, hope you're okay today. We're here to share the word of God. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up. Some of the way, the same as the thief and the robber, but he that entereth in by the door is the sheep, shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter opens, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name, and he leadeth them out. When he putteth forth his own sheep, goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice, and a stranger they will not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. This parable spoke Jesus unto them, but they understood not the things they were, which he spoke unto them. Then said Jesus unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enters in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out and find pasture. He says, I am the good shepherd, giveth his life for the sheep. He says, I am the good shepherd. Jesus is the good shepherd because he never lied, he never did anything wrong. He is holy and pure and good and godly. He is the God of heaven and earth. He is the creator of heaven and earth. He is the good shepherd and he says, I am the good shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep. There he laid his life down for the sheep. He laid his life down for you and me. I am the good shepherd, he says. I am the good shepherd. The shepherd who came and died on the cross. The shepherd who came and gave his life for you and me. The shepherd who was whipped and mocked. The shepherd who was attacked. The shepherd who was spat at. The shepherd who was crucified. I am the good shepherd, he said. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. And he laid down his life for you and me today. They whipped him, they mocked him, they humiliated him, they spattered him, and they put him on a cross. And when he died on that cross, he was dying for you and me. And it says this, for God demonstrates his own love to us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. God demonstrated his love to you and me. God demonstrated his love to you and me. God demonstrated his love that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And there he died on that cross. He died on that cross for you and me. Shed his blood for you and me with a crown of thorns on his head, nailed to that cross, dying on that cross. And he was dying as your savior today. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. Ye do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Says my shepherd. People, he, is he your shepherd today? When you die, there is a heaven and a hell. When you die, there is a heaven and a hell. And it all depends what you do, if you believe in him or not. The Lord is my shepherd. Is he your shepherd today? Have you come to know him as your Lord today? Have you come to trust him as your Lord and Savior today? The Lord is my shepherd. And he came and he was laughed at, he was mocked, he was humiliated, they spat at him, they laughed at him, they hit him, they whipped him. There he went to the cross. And there they nailed him to that cross. And as they nailed him to that cross, he died on that cross for you. He died on that cross and he shed his blood as a savior. He shed his blood as a savior and died on that cross for you today. 
If you want to escape the wrath to come, if you want to escape hell, if you want to escape the wrath of God, if you want to know that you're right with God today, then you've got to know the blood of Jesus. You've got to know the blood of the Lamb. You've got to know Christ the Savior. You've got to know Christ the Lord. You've got to come to the blood of Jesus and trust Him as your Lord and Savior. Trust Him as your God. Trust Him as your King. And if you come to Him today, you can be saved and born again, washed in the blood, clean in the blood, knowing that you are right with Him in Christ. But it all begins by faith. It all begins by trusting in Him today. By knowing His love and grace, by knowing His mercy, by knowing His peace, by knowing His joy. Call upon me in the day of trouble and I will answer. Call upon me, He says, and I will answer. Trust in Him and He will give you mercy. He will give you love. He will give you peace. He will give you joy. He will give you hope. He will give you comfort as you turn to Him today. The Lord is the Savior today. The Lord is the Savior today. The Lord is the King today. And He wants you to come off the wacky wacky. He wants you to come off the crack cocaine. He wants you to come out of the spice. He wants you to come out of the devil worship. And to not worship the devil, but worship Jesus. Every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And He's Lord over the demons. 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 Every demon will have to flee. Every evil power has to flee in the name of Jesus, in the name of Christ. Every demonic force has to flee in the name of Jesus. Every demonic force has to go in the name of Jesus because Christ is the Lord today. Christ is the King today. Christ is all and above all today. He is above the universe today. He made everything. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. He is the creator of all the universe. He is the one in control of your life, control of the universe. He is in control, my friend. He is the almighty God. And He came to die on a cross. He came to die on a cross and shed His blood for you today. He says, call upon me in the day of trouble and I will answer. As you call upon Him, He will save you. He will show you His mercy. He will show you His grace. He will show you His love. He will show you His care. He will show you His kindness. Christ will save you today. Christ will save you today. He will save you today. He will save you. He will show you His love today. There is power, power, a oh, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, a oh, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. This power today, Christ is the King, Christ is the Savior, Christ is the Lord today. Christ died on that cross and shed His blood for you today that you may be saved, that you may be born again today, that you may know His love, that you may know His grace. That's why He died on that cross. And every demon and every power, everything that is evil, has to flee in the name of Jesus. Amen. And there He came and died on that cross that you and I may be saved today. He died on that cross that you and I may have life today. And He wants you to have life. He wants you to have peace today. He wants you to have joy today. Amen. He says, I've come to give you life more abundant. There is abundant life in Jesus. There's no life in drugs. There's no life in wacky wacky. There's no life in porn, in getting drunk. There's no life in materialism. There's no life in the horoscopes. There's no life in the Ouija boards. But there is abundant life in Jesus. Abundant life in Christ. There is abundant life in Him. He wants to give us good life. He wants to give us the best things in life. 
And if we turn to Him and have faith in Him and trust in Him as our Lord and Savior, as we look to Him, He will change us and He will make us anew and He will restore us and He will give us a new life, a new future and a new hope. He will show us His love. He will show us His grace. He will show us His kindness today. Hi folks, this is Jason. We're in Manchester today sharing the gospel. We was out in Chester yesterday and we was over further over in north of England and we're here to share the gospel and there'll be others coming here today and we're just reaching out to people, showing them the love of Christ that they might come to know him as Lord and Savior. So again, I keep saying this, why not get a table, put some literature out, why not take some crosses, yeah. go and walk in your town and village and city, why not start a, 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 an education course or something, or an evangelistic course, yeah. and, and do something and reach out to people. Uh, Mike's invited Muslims to the local church. We meet Muslims, we talk to them, we share the gospel, we're reaching out, and we're encouraging you to do that. Jesus says, I've come to give life more abundant. And so my friends, please consider that, that there is abundant life in Jesus. Amen. And we need to share that gospel today in Jesus' name. God bless. Amen.